Hey, good Sunday afternoon, friends. This is take two. I made the first video this morning, and I ran out of storage. <laughs> so I had to clean everything out of my phone to uh, start all over again. Anyway, it, it is about 72 degrees right now. And uh, I figured instead of making it over there in my screened-in porch, I'm over here at the marina, <laughs> sitting here on my little pontoon boat, listen to some nice soothing music. The song is Hallelujah. <laughs> First time I heard it was uh, through uh, Tiki Bob down here at the Holiday RV Village. But anyway, hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Uh, we're supposed to be hitting about 81-ish degrees later on today. It'll be a, a occasional cloudiness here and there, but Oh, what a beautiful day it is right now. You know, I'm living the dream. Yes, I am. All right, let me get on with uh, everything here. And before I get on with my information, I got to remind you of the 44th annual craft show, February 3rd and February the 4th. Uh, it starts at 9 a.m. on Friday. And again, on February 4th, it starts at 9 a.m. also. All right. On Friday, it's from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. And on Saturday, February the 4th, 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. So uh, come on down and check out all the vendors that are going to be here. People uh, selling their crafts. There's going to be uh, all kind of foods here for sale. There will be entertainment here. The uh, uh, karaoke club down here at the Holiday RV Village. They'll be performing. And uh, my man, Tiki Bob, he'll be in the house. He'll be performing for you. And, of course, I'll do a little bit of something here and there, uh, spitting some background music, uh, you know, cracking a few jokes and just having a good old time. Yes, we will. And in case any of you might be looking to uh, uh, sell some of your crafts or whatever and uh, you want to get a table down here for the uh, craft show, uh, you'll want to get in touch with, um, let me see here, uh, uh, Sandy Zephyr, all right? She's at lot number 194 West or W194, however you want to say it. So get in touch with Sandy and she'll uh, uh, give you an application to fill out and uh, come on down and, and just get involved with the craft fair. And if you have some time to donate on Friday or Saturday or both, even just a few hours, you know, we could use some help setting things up, breaking things down. There's all kind of different ways you can donate some time. Uh, if you want to do that, get in touch with Sue at uh, lot number E98 or East 98. So there's your information on all that, okay? Uh, let's see. Now, we're going to get into uh, my good afternoon video instead of good morning video. Don't want to lose that. A little bit of a win here right now. It's uh, Tom Selleck's birthday today. Happy birthday, Tom. It's also Oprah Winfrey's birthday today. She's 69 years young. Tom Selleck is uh, 78 years young. And it's Ann uh, Jillian's birthday, 78, or excuse me, 73 years young. Happy birthday, Ann Jillian. It would have been W.C. Fields' birthday. And it would have been John Forsyth. His birthday would have been today. Uh, if you remember the show that uh, he was in. I mean, they we're going way, way back. I think it was called uh, Bachelor Fathers. So, uh, you know, just to jar your memory a little bit on there. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some... Uh, fisherman right there. Am I catching it? Yeah. I mean, this is just a cool thing, just to even sit here huh, on my little pontoon boat and watch these uh, people, you know, just slowly cruising in and out of here. I think I'll take mine out today sometime later on. Uh, today's National Puzzle Day. You know, if you're into the jigsaw puzzles or word puzzles, Today is your day to just enjoy it, relax, have a good time with it. It's also National Meat Week. 
So whatever kind of meat you might be into cooking, whether it be a you know a stove top or in the oven or on the grill or in your smoker, this is your week to do it. And I got a, a rack of baby back ribs I'm doing. I don't know if Carol wants me to do them uh, later on today or, or just sometime uh, during this week. I'll be looking forward to that. Yes, I will. On my Weber kettle, charcoal grill, of course. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's National Free Thinkers Day. So uh, think to your heart's content today. Today's your day to do any kind of thinking you want. That's one thing they can't take from us. Think away. It's also National Carnation Day. You know, fellas, if you're out there uh, maybe after a round of golf today and you're ready to come home and your main squeeze is at home, uh, go someplace and, and pick up a, a half a dozen or so of some carnations and bring them home and say, here, hun, or whatever the case may be, you know. I got you some carnations. I was thinking of you. I'll tell you what, that'll put you up one more notch. Yeah, it will. And ladies, you can do the same also for your uh, main squeezes, okay? You know, you can go out and get, and get some carnations uh, for, for your favorite guy if you want to, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Oh, it's also uh, National Corn Chip Day today. And uh, I like my corn chips. I like Fritos. Uh, the best of all of them, obviously. But what I do with my uh, corn chips, uh, besides eating them just out of the bag, I'll uh, uh, crunch them up and I'll put them in a bowl of chili when I make a homemade chili, you know. And... Uh, just crunch them and, and layer them on the top of your homemade chili. Oh, that's like being in Fat City. Yes, it is. And then the other way you can do it is with uh, tacos. If you like the tacos, you know, meat tacos, even fish tacos. Uh, after you, you know, get your ingredients in your taco shells, uh, take a handful of uh, your favorite corn chip, crunch them up, and just... Uh, layer layer them over the top of your tacos. <laughs> That's another way to be in Fat City. Yes, it is. <laughs> it just gives it a nice little uh, bit of a spark, you know, when you bite into it, you know. Kind of flavors the taste, if you know what I mean. All right, folks, that's all I have. I don't even have a cup here to, to toast uh, for coffee or anything. So uh, maybe I'll see you guys down at the pool later on. My friend's over here at Holiday RV Village. Maybe I'll see you down there. If you see me, say, yo, Warzy, how you doing? So I can look at you and say, I'm living the dream. How you doing? <laughs> and my, my other friends out there in Facebook land and uh, uh, my travelers, my RVers out there, my, my family members out there, my son, my daughters, I hope you're all having a good day. My grandchildren, nieces and nephews, Hope you're having a great day today. And, of course, my, my brother, brothers and sister, hope you guys are having a good day. All right, folks, I'll talk to you later on. Oh, I got to mention, last night we were invited to a, a little bit of a campfire. Uh, our neighbors uh, across the way from us, a uh, couple snowbirds that are here, you know, for a few months, they said, yo, Wars and Mrs. Wars, <laughs> come on over. We're going to you know, uh, have a campfire and that. So we went over and we hobnobbed for a while, had a couple adult libations. It was a good time. I really enjoyed it. And, oh, Tiki Bob was over at the house yesterday. We were playing uh, with uh, uh, his equipment and my equipment. We were just trying to tune everything together. Uh, so uh, we'll be ready for, uh, you know, the craft show on uh February 3rd and 4th. We want to make sure everything is just right, okay? Because that's how we roll. All right, folks, you have a great day today. If you enjoyed my video, by all means, hit that like button. Comments are always welcome, positive or negative. And uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep that in mind, all right? God bless all of you. I'll talk to you, all of you later on. You're going to go out on three now. Jim, I'll see you down at the pool. I'm going to suck up some vitamin D. I'm sure I'll be doing that. One, two, three. Peace.
Have a great day. Take care now. Catch you later. Smile.